Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel today. I am back on War Thunder and I'm taking a look at submarines. So a lot of people were thinking the April Fool's event would be tier 6 jet aircraft. It in fact is not. It is Cold War to modern day submarines. So today I'm going to be taking a look at the Yasin class nuclear submarine, which is the Soviet submarine in this event. Now here is the first enemy. There we go, took him out. So as you can see from that, uh, the torpedoes are guided, similar to ATGMs. You actually control where the torpedoes go, and you can aim them at a specific target, which is very good. As you can see, I've just fired a second one. Um, so all the torpedoes are different. This is the Russian torpedo. As you can see at the back, there are four little fins. Uh, when you actually fire the torpedo, those fins pop out, which is... Uh, it does show they've put in quite a bit of work into the animations and the design of this event, which is definitely quite a nice thing that they've actually thought about adding little details that make it really nice. And that does also add to the thought that there's a possibility that this is a large-scale test, that they will be adding submarines in the future, possibly up to where tanks are, where it's almost modern day, which would definitely be quite good. Okay, so I think we're getting close to this submarine. Ah, he's there. Okay, so you do use sonar, and it gets, uh... Oh, yeah, there we go. I killed him. That's nice. So I took out the engine by the looks of it, and that destroyed his vehicle. So, there you go. As you can see, um... It, the targeting... I don't know if it's a glitch, or if it's just the way it's meant to be. Because these submarines are mostly stealth. Um, you can't fully see where the enemy submarine is until you get very close, and they appear out of the murkiness of the water. Uh, once you get to your visual contact, that's the way you know exactly where they are. Can be difficult with some torpedoes that aren't that manoeuvrable, but um, it's not too bad. So I'm just going to try and get to low distance, as you can see in the top left of the screen. There is a sort of sonar map. Now if you press V, that does go to a different type of sonar, but you don't really need to use that as the map, um, the map in the bottom right corner does actually show you um, where they are most of the time. Oh, getting a bit close to the seabed here. So, you can also see enemy and friendly torpedoes. As you can see, there's a friendly torpedo that is a blue streak with little dots behind it. So, I've just fired a torpedo. We're going to be going for this enemy ship. Let's see if we can get close to it. Oh, he's, oh okay, he's there. He's very close to me. Oh. Go around. Come on. Okay, I might not make the turn. Looks like there's a cliff just here. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm very close to the enemy spawn. Um, firing another one. Oh, oh my god, right below me. Okay, let's, uh, let's try and spin this around. So it looks like there might be two enemy submarines very close to me, so I'm going to have to be very careful. So there I am, just above. Let's try and hit where the command tower is. There we go. Oh, wow, that was very dramatic. He completely exploded. And there's another one, which is... Um, same submarine as me, it's a, uh, another ESN class, so let's try and take him out, just steer it around, try and get a hit. Okay, let's try and go for the command bridge, oh, just missed, come on, turn in, there we go, it looks like I hit him and took out the main portion of his submarine. So we go, four kills so far, top of the team, not too bad. So, uh, up to this point, that was pretty much the end of the battle, uh, I didn't get any more kills. And the enemy team just got gradually taken out. Uh, but yeah, so that was submarines. So overall, so far, personally for this submarine, very fun. It's a good fun event. You can definitely tell it's not been nailed out completely. It's not perfectly a finished product. It is mainly just a fun, low-quality April Fool's event. But some nice details have been implemented. And I can really see a place for it in the future of naval battles or as its own game mode. Anyway though, um, so yeah, that was Submarines. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider leaving a like. Maybe even subscribe to the channel. If you do, that would be absolutely brilliant. I will have more videos coming on the other two Submarines that are in the game, so look out for that. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.